Hi, Caitlin Offer here, and in this weekend's Hills Gazette, we talked to Forest Field resident Anna DePaul about the dolls that she washes and makes clothes for for slum children in the Philippines. Tell me, how did it come about that you started collecting the dolls? Well, I started actually, I was going to make nine boxes for Christmas appeal and then I had so many boxes and I've got this friend who's a missionary in the Philippines mm -hmm. and I thought when the children graduate they go there with empty hands and I started making dolls and I thought that's lovely for the children in the Philippines. And where do you get the dolls from? Uh, those are all from the Sammies, the good Sammies in Fremantle. We mm -hmm. went there three times and the first were, there was a big container full of dolls. The last time we came, they were actually on the shelves because I bought all those dolls. Yeah. <laughs> and tell me about the clothes. You, you make well, them what I do, I all wash them. And actually, and somebody said I need to sterilize them. So I wash the faces and had the alcohol. And then I, I wash them all. And then I start knitting. But it took too long because yep. that takes a full day to make an outfit like this. Yeah. And uh, then I thought, no, I start sewing. And, um, and I got bolder with all the colors, like bright colors, because the kids do love bright colors. And so that's how I start doing it. And if it didn't fit one doll, I put it onto another. And sometimes it looks better on another doll. And so I change. Fantastic. And so what happens to the dolls now, now that you've... Well, uh, in March we are going again, and that is the graduation uh, time. In, that's the end of the year graduation in the Philippines in the kindergarten. And so we take them all along, four people are going, so we spread them in the suitcases and uh, they will be given out. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah. And um, so it's just for the, the girls, obviously, for the so girls. you're trying to find something for the boys. Yes, we, <laughs> and we will have to buy that in the Philippines because we can't carry it all. Yeah. And it boosts the economy there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Excellent. And so you're hoping that the, the girls will you know, like their, their new dolls? They do love the new dolls because I've, we've done it before. I've done it before, made dolls in, in, in boxes and made actually little beds in there, pillow slips and the whole lot. Oh, and there was one mother and she said, oh, please, can I have one of the dolls? Because I never had a doll when I was a child. So she got the doll and she's happy. Yeah, fantastic. And I think just to have something for comfort, isn't it? To hold a doll for a little girl is really important. Because you talk to your dolls, don't you? Yeah, and so you love your dolls, so they get yeah. quite attached to them. They do, they do. Yeah, excellent. So. And do you think you'll be doing this for for a while, or do you well, think I'll hope on? to if I get more dolls and uh, little bits of material, half a meter of a different color, and so all is welcome. Yeah, because I've actually I don't know to find the dolls anymore. Because yeah. I went to other op shops, like in Bustleton, we went to op shops and everywhere, but not everybody carries the dolls. Yeah, so I'm looking for more dolls. Yes. Fantastic. Yeah. Excellent. So you're taking them in March? In March. In yeah. March. Excellent. Yeah. And, um, and in the meantime, are you going to continue collecting the dolls? I would love to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do. Because it is another year. Every year is the graduation. And uh, those children are there for two years in a kindergarten and then they go to primary school if we find a sponsor for them. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for talking with us. Yeah, you're welcome. It's my pleasure, really. So read all about it in this weekend's Hills Gazette.